Hello. It's me. <laughs> As you can see, I still didn't get my camera, but I hope to get it uh, this weekend uh, when I have a minute. <laughs> so I wanted to make a video about what it means to create your happiness and follow your bliss and having putting things into your vortex, your grid, being in the vortex. If you listen to any uh, Abraham Hicks um, videos about manifesting and things like that, uh, it's fantastic. Really great content, uh, really great information. And uh, if you haven't already done so, you should definitely check out some Abraham Hicks teachings because they're amazing. But yes, following your bliss. Uh, and your happiness. So what does that mean? It means that if you have a box, you need to put the things that make you happy in this box. Same as if you're growing a plant. What do you do? If you want to grow a plant and you want to be vibrant and healthy and strong, you want to water it. You want to give it sunlight and wonderful oxygen and things like that you want it to thrive with all those wonderful things so obviously your energy is going to work in the same way so you need to follow your bliss in terms of things that make you happy so what does that mean exactly because sometimes people do things that they think make them happy and aren't really actually making them happy you need to be able to differentiate between the things that are comfortable and that you are stuck and you feel pulled and drawn to them because of comfort or because of whatever toxic um, connections um, and ties and um, so what I'm looking for. <laughs> um, the patterns and stuff, your previous patterns of what you tend to be drawn towards, you have to be able to discern between that and things that actually make you happy and help you to grow. If you cannot do that, then you will not be able to grow. And then what will happen is that you'll just keep repeating the same cycles over and over again. You will continue to feel this unhappiness, you will continue to have all these different um, emotions tied to that that are not negative. You might have small moments of happiness or surface happiness, but you won't have those deep happiness feelings. You will feel stuck. You will feel like you're not moving forward. You will feel like you don't have the things that you want in your life. Um, so you need to figure that out for yourself. What's going to happen then if you stay stuck in that pattern is that things will eventually keep getting worse for you or bad things will keep happening to try to like shake you out of that to shake you out of that pattern or that path you're taking something's gonna happen your higher self is going to do things the universe whatever you want to refer as this guard is gonna do things to you to make you see <laughs> that you are not following your bliss at all and that you're in fact just um uh you're not watering your plant you're just literally shoving it in a corner in a cupboard and not caring about the plant which is yourself yourself is the plant so what does that mean to follow your bliss and follow your happiness so putting things in your box that make you happy um one of the things that you're gonna have to learn how to do is to trust your gut instincts when you have something that makes you feel off, awkward, anxious, something that makes you feel tense, something that in your gut tells you that there's something wrong here. I don't feel right about this. I don't feel comfortable with this. This person, this situation, this whatever it is that you want to put into here is not right for me or not right at all, or whatever. That is something that you can't just um, 
you know, just ignore. That's important. You have to learn how to trust your gut instincts and to listen to them and to be in tune because that you're going to need that. You're going to need that tool. It's a very important tool if you want to follow your bliss and if you want to fill your box with happiness. Um, there's going to be enough unhappy things in life that are going to come into your into the box, into your grid involuntarily. There's going to be enough of that. Trust me when I say that. There's lots of things we don't choose in life that are unhappy and that are unfortunate that happen to us. And those are involuntary things that happen to us in our life. So why would you voluntarily want to put unhappy things into your grid? Why? Why would you do that for? Why? (laughs) The answer to that is because you've probably been programmed to do so. And it's your pattern. It's your pattern from the way you were raised and you just keep cycling over and over and over and you keep repeating the same situations, you keep repeating the same cycles and scenarios with different people, with different people in your life, different situations, maybe different jobs, different uh, whatever. You're just going to keep repeating and cycling through that until you get it, until you finally get it. And unfortunately, no one is going to make you get that until you get it yourself. So how do you put happiness into your box? First, you're going to have to learn about it. You're going to have to learn everything that I just said right now. You're going to have to get it. There's going to be a point in your life when you're just going to get it. (laughs) And maybe sometimes you kind of like sort of get it and you kind of have an inkling and you like, you know, you tune into it, you're tapped into it or whatever. Don't discard that. Go with it. Go with that feeling. When you're on that like little wave of whatever it is that you want to call it, stay on that wave. Don't discard it. It's important. You have them for a reason when you have those moments of like truth or aha moments or enlightenment moments or um, that's when you're in the vortex and you just feel like everything is great and working out for you. So uh, how do you put happiness into your box? I keep saying in order to put happiness into your box, you have to remove the thing that are unhappy in your box. That's the number one thing you have to do. And the reason for that is because if this is your box and it's already filled with all that crusty shit (laughs) that is just not good for you, it's not healthy for you, it's not making you grow and you know that and deep, deep down, deep down you already know the answers to this deep down you already know and you can try to ignore it you can try to like argue with it or deny it as much as you want but you cannot fool your higher self or yourself you can't fool anyone because i don't understand why you just want to prolong it just bite the bullet and ditch it ditch those unhappy things in your box you have to remove what's in the box to make room for happiness in the box to take out the crap that's already in there because there's no room for the happiness right now you got all this other crap in there that's not helping you out in your situation at all so you need to get rid of that stuff first that's the number one thing you have to do to put happiness inside your grid um then what do you do then find out who you are. Then you have to find out who you are. Find out what you like. What do you like? What is it that brings you joy? When you have a moment that you feel so moved or something that like really makes you feel like alive or you feel like you're brimming with like joy and happiness um, over something, it can be anything. It can be a moment. It could be a sunset. It could be songs you listen to. It could be going for a run. Uh, It could be cooking, if you love cooking. Um, If there's something, if you notice that there's things in your life that you do and you feel like so elated and wonderful, write it down. Write it down. That is something that is your happiness because you want to repeat those. You want to repeat more of those moments. That's how you follow your bliss. That's how you get into your vortex is you repeat those moments of those things that make you happy. So for me, I love going for hikes. I love going for hikes in nature by myself. I mean, 
it's just so invigorating and makes me feel so wonderful and obviously being in nature is so grounding like instantly so um that's a really wonderful thing that i can put into my box um i've worked a l i've worked a lot and in the last few years to remove to remove all the negative stuff in my box and i'm still working at that obviously uh you're never going to be completely rid of all those things um, it's going to be an ongoing process, but the more you get rid of those things, the more space you have to invite the happy things in there. And like I said, if you follow your bliss, you, you find those moments that you, you, that make you happy and just repeat them. So you love, if you love, um, drawing, then draw. If you love riding your bike, ride your bike, repeat those moments. If it's like, if you just don't know, then try different things. Try different things and just keep track of like the things when you're in that in that space. In that space where you just feel so light and so good and so happy and so joyous. And just remember that and try to replicate that feeling by repeating what you were doing in that situation with the same conditions. You need to keep those same conditions. Obviously, it's not always going to be possible to repeat, like, if all these wonderful conditions. But it doesn't mean that you can't have multiple conditions, like, multiple moments with the same conditions repeatedly. So, um, so yeah, follow your bliss. Follow your happiness. And um, once you figure, once you remove all the crap out of your grid and make the space for the happiness, it's much easier to allow for the happiness to come into your life and for the good moments and the good vibes, the good feelings, the good manifestations and things like that. Um, and then uh, you, an integral part of that is uh, you have to know what it is that you makes you happy. You need to know who you are and go through the process of, of healing and releasing wounds because the wounds that you hold on to, you have to understand that if you ignore those as well, any wounds that you have are inside your box as well, like into your grid. If you're holding on to something, if you're holding on to anger, hurt or pain or trauma or something that happened to you in the past, that is taking up energy and space in your grid. So in order to invite the happiness into your grid, there has to be space for it to be there. <laughs> so you have to create that space. So you need to declutter. Declutter. Just like if you want to buy new furniture and and really fun, happy furniture in your house, are you going to just buy new furniture and plop it inside your house on top of the old, like, ugly furniture that you hate? No. That's not what you're going to do. You have to throw away or get rid of or donate or whatever you want to do. <laughs> burn it. No, don't burn it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, you have to get rid of the old furniture, the one that's like weighing you down and it's like dusty and it's broken and damaged and whatever it is. Uh, you need to get rid of that if you want new furniture in there. So it works the same way. If it works exactly the same way with your happiness, you cannot invite happiness into your life if you have these things that are not conducive to growth and healing in your life you just can't it doesn't work that way they're already taking up space in your grid and the box so that is something super important to remember okay anyways that was um uh <laughs> That's pretty much all I had to say about your following your bliss and what you need to do to get to get more happiness in your space and the important things to remember about that. I'll probably do a detailed video on um, more about getting into the space of like how to be happy uh, once you've cleared the space. Um, but I'll, I'll do that when I get a better camera which is going to be this weekend at some point <laughs> but anyways i hope you guys all had a wonderful happy new year and enjoyed all the great energies that came in from the winter solstice and um i think right now we're in a new moon in capricorn and there's 
a lot of hustle and bustle and stuff happening. And don't buy into the whole New Year's resolutions thing. Just like scrap that with this whole like New Year, New Me thing. Like just don't, you're just recycling these old tired patterns. Like that is not what you want to do. You want, you need to start something new. If you keep doing the same thing over and over again and you're not become, it's not like successful, then you need to do something different. You need to do something different. So scrap all that and just like really get to the core of what is important and start like healing into the nitty gritty. And unfortunately that is very uncomfortable and dark. You have to go through the darkness and the pain in order to get to the joy. That is the way through. It's through the dark and the pain. That is the journey. Um, So do it. I know it sucks. I know it's uncomfortable. It's super uncomfortable, but do it anyway. You're going to have to. If you're going to keep avoiding it, the universe is going to eventually shove you into that in a very horrible way. So you don't want to get to that point. And you might have to. And that's usually what ends up happening to a lot of people, myself included. (laughs) Uh, So just uh, enjoy the wonderful energies. The wonderful, there's been lots of wonderful manifesting energies this year. This is truly a year about change and a year about healing and happiness. So I hope you get to enjoy that. And I really hope that you get to um, take advantage of those amazing energies that came this year uh, of abundance and clearing and stuff. So have a wonderful day. Uh, I will talk to you soon. Love and light to everyone.